Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on the Demiurge server, playing Minecraft 1.18.2. I am unhappy with the efficiency of my hostile mob farm. It seems to spawn more mobs at night than it does during the day. And if it's dark during the day, then I don't understand why it would be different. So I'm going to surround the mob farm with black glass, which should allow me to see in, yet make it completely dark on the inside. I will be back in a little while. Now the way this works is black glass should be dark and not provide light on the inside. At least that's the way I thought it worked. So this should improve the spawn rate on the inside of the glass. I'm not quite sure I understand because the roof is big enough that it should also prevent it from being light. Let's just see how this is going to work out. I'll finish this off and get back to you in just a moment. And here we are watching the mob farm. The sun is setting. It doesn't seem to be doing a lot of spawning. But when it gets dark, it seems to spawn more. I don't know if this is caused by the fact that mobs now spawn only in zero light level. So that would mean the black glass no longer works. But either way, it doesn't seem to work as efficiently. See, there's a lot of mobs. It doesn't seem to work as efficiently as I would like. Anyone that knows why, leave me a comment. Thank you very much. Now, let's move on to my next big project. I have found where I want to build my larger base. And it's not that close to spawn. It is a little further away. Let's go take a look. I am back and I have worked on where I want my base to be. Let me show you. If we go out this way I've already worked on a road that goes out and south. I realize this road is awfully straight. People tend to like roads that meander a bit more. The meandering starts up here. I've added some trees from the nether to mark my trail. I added the trees here from the nether. More of these along the way. And I want to build a bridge from here over to there, following more or less the blocks of light. Okay. Okay, this is where I want my base to be. I will show you how I got here later. But I'm going to clear this area off. And go from here. We are actually 159 blocks away from spawn where I started. I don't know if that's far enough. I may just work on building further south as I go. Let me continue to work on this and I will be back in a moment. Okay, I am back and I have a change of plans. This is going to be the top of my base. I will still use what I built 
there you can see it to the right but I'm going to build downward into this mountain as with most of my builds a time-lapse works best when I am doing a large build I was inspired on this build based on a video I saw by Impulse SV on season 9 of Hermitcraft. I will be back with an update in just a minute. Okay, I'm back and still working on this part of the base. Not even sure what to call it yet. I'm really building this kind of on the fly. It's inspired based on videos I've seen, but I didn't exactly plan any of it out. And you don't want me to watch me do this at slow speed, so... Editing Gintian will speed things up. I want to build a large chamber here to serve as the main area of my base. And then attach things onto it based on that. I seem to be out of... I don't have a lot of left on my pick. So I'm trying to get some XP. But you know what? That's not going to work. I'm going to have to go back to the main base. Previous base. Spawn. I need to repair my tools. And I'm back and things did not go as planned. I triggered a raid. I didn't realize I had the effect on me. And when I headed towards spawn, I caused a raid. And now I'm in the middle of a battle for it. And it's not going well. Let's try this again. Ravager. Ravager is killing me. I'm being chased by a Ravager and a bunch of pillagers. Okay. I have escaped. See the raid still going on? I don't know. Oh, this is not good. The good news is, is this is where I died earlier when I lost all my stuff. And that's the part where it collects the mob drops. So all my stuff was collected, at least as best I can tell. But there are mobs in here. Vindicators that chase me in here. And this keeps going. What am I gonna do? I gotta go in and get my stuff back, but I've got to kill the Vindicators. And there is the Ravager, which keeps decimating me. Every time I respawn, they spawn in, and the Ravager totals me. So, I need to get away so that I can survive. They are chasing me, I think. I'm ready to turn around. If I'm being chased, let's go. Nope, Ravager still got me. Now he's further away. I've been poisoned by the witch who's hanging out by the my spawn point. And he keeps knocking me off. The pillager keeps shooting me and knocking me off the scaffolding. I don't think you can die of poison. You just get really close. Is 
See, no mobs are spawning in there. Still a mystery. I'm going to keep going up. What am I going to do? I'm going to go up here and think about this for a while. See if I could survive. Now... I take the slightest bit of damage and I'm done for. Decisions. Not sure what to do. I don't want to get killed. I don't want to go back and fight the monsters, mobs. Can I see them over the edge? I don't see anything. So will they respawn up here? Or that's only if I manage to kill them off in the raid would they respawn as the next raid starts. You get a great view of the jack. Okay. Let's drop all the way down. Oh, that's not uh, that's not where I landed. That's not where I intended to land. That is where I landed. Oh my god, they're, they're killing the... They're, they're down here. They're going to kill the villagers. And the witch is here. And I was shot by a pillager. They're going to kill the villagers. They're going to kill all my villagers. I don't know where they are. The farmer inside is freaking out because of the raid. I'm going to head back to... I'm calling it my mega base, but... Do I have any weapons? No weapons. Why don't I leave weapons? I should just put emergency weapons around different places. Got all these chests all over. I'm going to keep heading this way until I can get away from this raid. And, and then I think I'm going to stop for the day. Because this is just not working. Every time, see, every time I move back, the raid is going on. This seems to be the edge of the raid, because if I back up and go just a little bit further, the raid stops. Okay, you can see by the chat, it has not been a good day. But I am going back in. I've managed to find some golden carrots, and I've got some blocks to pillar up with. Is that my... No, that's my horse. I can hear them. They're down, they're down here. They're rattling the door. They can't get the door open, but they're rattling the door. I need to get a weapon. There was mobs down here last time. Let's see. Looks like the mobs down here despawned. I never thought a raid would be so damaging. I need weapons. Where can I... Do I have weapons here? Oh my god, my villagers are gone. I guess they've all been... They had to have been killed. Villagers don't turn them. They kill them. I can get my weapons from my mob drops. I can't believe they're gone. I'm going to have to bring them all in again. 
Let's go over and get the mob drops and see what actually got collected. Now, where would they be? Here they are. There they are. Let's put my armor on. Get my bow. There's the bow. I've got arrows. That should be good. So let's go up and kill these guys. As soon as they see me, they're gonna start shooting. And they're shooting. But I have the advantage. And I have won. I lost a whole bunch of levels when I got killed at the start of this raid. And the raid is still going on. Unless I hunt down every one of those pillagers to find out where they went, the raid will continue. Now that I have a bow, let's head back up to the roof. Maybe I can spot them from up here. If I spot any of them, I can take them out with my bow. Well, again, I see nothing. Well, this is certainly not the way I planned for this video to end. I'm going to keep looking for them, but I'm also going to go ahead and call it and say this is the end of today's video. Please subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I deliver my next video. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.